everyone. Welcome to Bandits, the show in quotes, where I take a look at a piece of art and make an argument as to why some moral garden would think it'd be a good idea to either outright ban it or make some good choice cuts. Today, I have the third film in the East Rail 177 trilogy. Not the best, but it's still a solid entry, I think. They're all good films, in my opinion. Anyways, I'm looking at Glass. So what's so bad about this one? <laughs> it's a really problematic one here, because it takes the worst elements of the first two and puts them in one. So the first one, we got a black guy who's bad and needs to be taken down by the white man. And here, we have, look, you know, taking mental disabilities and using them for horror and uh, getting a reaction out of the audience. Now those two things are conjoined together in one glorious ball of offensiveness. I don't really think I can say much more. Take the worst of the worst in here, put them together for a super offensive piece of work. A good piece of work, but still offensive for some people, sadly. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's clear enough. What do I think about this film? I like this a lot. It's not unbreakable, but it's still a good film. I think it's my unbreakable glass split is how I would rank these. It returns more to the drum aspect of Unbreakable. It's an, it has a little bit of horror elements that you got from Split, but it's more along the lines of a more action-oriented Unbreakable. So it kind of, this whole trilogy kind of goes through different genres, which is kind of cool. Anyways, great little film. Do not expect anything from Marvel. This is a totally different, and you may want to put all your expectations of superhero movies aside because this kind of like Star Wars subverts expectations and I think it worked with this one may not work for everyone but if you want something different if you want something more intelligent not as stupid as Marvel or even DC this it's an entire trilogy you may want to check out <laughs> start in order I highly recommend that not necessarily you need to, but considering this is M. Night Shyamalan and he relies on twists, it's a good bet to watch in order to get the fullest and appreciate them more. I think that's about it for all this one. Check me out on Minds and BitChute, Stardust, and link to the description and all those below, and I will see all of you in the next one. Take care, everybody.